I'm going to go ahead, uh, start my recording again, and hope for the best. But it's not after you anymore. I understand. May the ancestors be with you. We should keep going. I sense someone else close by. Be careful. Trust nothing you hear. Trust nothing you see. And thank you, Harding. Stay here. You'll be safe. Come on. I know there's more missing. Hold on. Alright. Cool. Grand. Cavern. Mining equipment. Looks old. There's lyrium all through these rocks. I'm not surprised people tried to get at it. All those veins look at all them veins so nice okay so you're telling me to go that way which means I want to go oh I cannot go this way not yet anyway okay good those scuff marks that looks like someone was... Dragged away, I'd wager. We have to find them. Okay, how do I get up here? I want to go up there. Ugh, tight spaces, I hate it. Ooh, hello, big chest. Well, that's not creepy at all.
I love how the companions just phase through you when you walk by and they don't actually hinder you. That's probably my favorite thing so far. Alright, so now we're here. And now we can go back down here. Go here. And go up here. And then I think we want to go that way, so I'm going to go this way first. There's someone close. I think I can feel them. Keep looking. Okie dokie. Whee! And now demons? There's probably something wrong with the veil. Yeah. What is this thing running around me? I was about to say, what is that? Wiggle, wiggle.
look, there's a way through here. Ah, it's so squishy. Eh, glass. Okay. Someone else is close by. Come on. Well, what's over here? I can't make that. There's no way. No way. I get back though. I definitely can't make that jump. That's a trap. Oh, never mind. Oh. Well, that's activated now. That's nice. I guess I have to go this way, right? Because there's no way I can make that other jump. It's okay, Sheppy. You're safe now. Podding. What's happening? It means we're on the right track. Stay here. You'll be safe. Oh, he told us not to follow Harding. I think Stalgard's fine. We should probably go home. I think it's time to leave. Blocked. Harding, can you... Thanks, Harding. That wasn't me, Rook. I didn't move that. What... what do you mean? I don't know what to tell you. Well then.
I think this is the last one. That is that. I think that's Stalgard. Well, he can wait a second. He's not going anywhere. Lace Harding, you should not have come. You needed help. We had to do something once we knew you were in danger. You are both fools, and I am forever grateful for it. What happened? The memory is clouded. I recall a cry in the shadows, and then nothing. I awoke in darkness, pressed against the stone. No room to even breathe. Time lost meaning. There was a voice in my ears murmuring in despair. Did you recognize the voice? Who was it? A shade. A rot within the stone. And it's after me. The only way to stop it is to face it. Don't. It will consume you. You, mister, need to rest. I'll handle it. Farther in. That's where the Titan's heart is. That's where I have to go. That's where it ends. The Titan's heart? Are we in an actual Titan? How do you... I just know. You seem far too relaxed for someone about to face something that wants to eat you. I'm terrified. Don't tell the others. My lips are sealed. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay then. This is great. My red aesthetic. I love it. Red lyrium's usually blighted. This isn't that. It's just lyrium that's angry. Okay, that's. So you're telling me this titan has high blood pressure? Is that what you're telling me? Huh. Okay. Cool. Live and learn, kids. Take care of your blood pressure. Or you'll end up like this. seeing things? These crystals look like veins. Over there. The heart. That's where I have to go. Alright. Whatever you say. Fine. Is this a what is happening? Hold on. I'm just noticing this. I don't know why, but I never thought a Titan would have a spine and rib cage. You know, I thought it would just be all stone, no bone. I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. I don't like this Harding. I'm done. <laughs> Let's go home. Like you. All right, everyone, breathe. We uh, we can handle this. Look at me! Don't you remember? Whoa, Harding, not a they good idea. Broke us into a million pieces. 
pieces. And this is all that's left. <laughs> What's Harding doing? She'll bring the cavern down, or worse, we have to get to her. Brooke, you feel that? This isn't safe. We're not leaving Harding. Harding! This has to stop, you'll kill us all! Don't you understand? What they did? The elves ripped away our dreams so the earth would be still! Take a chill pill. Oh. Good thing I'm not playing as an elf. That would kind of suck. So that definitely makes me want to romance Harding with an elf. So I'm sticking with that plan. Harding! You have to stop, or you'll kill us all! I told you to run! We don't leave people behind. I remember all of it. Everything the Ebonurus did to the Titans. And now the world will remember. Harding contains the Titan shade through her compassion. Harding contains the Titan shade by embracing her anger. No, no, no. You're lace Harding. You're more than this rage. You believe that the world is beautiful, that people are good to hold on to it. Hold on to who you are. Ah, you took everything from us. And you thought you won. But we're still here. We're different. But we're not gone. We will thrive in spite of you. Well, now. What fun. That was intense. My mind's still clearing. Anyway, you ready to go? Let's get you home. Stalgard and the others are returning to Kal Shirak to spread word of what happened. They'll need to be strong in the coming days. We all will. And I think you've proven your strength. Me? <laughs> oh, I couldn't have done it without you. You can ask me how I'm feeling, you know. <laughs> how are you? I used to worry that I'd lose myself to the Titans. But I wouldn't even be here without them. Would I? How could I lose myself when they were always a part of me? So, what's next for you? First, we stop the Elven Gods. And after that, well... <laughs> one step at a time? See where it takes me.
trust yourself. I do. You're just a bottomless well of support, aren't ya? <laughs> I try. Oh. And I don't know if I said thank you, so... Thank you, Rook. I wouldn't be here without you. Oh wow, this place is overgrown. A song from the stone. Saint true to herself, Harding has overcome the wrath of the Titan and has come and came come to terms with her people's past. Here at the Veil Guard, your trust and support has helped Harding find confidence in abilities both new and old, old and new. Uh, Heart of the Titan. Harding's affection for her companions makes her an expiring teammate capable of lifting everyone's spirits in battle. Inquisition Spotter. Harding held on to this armor, embroidering symbols into the red sash to represent fellow heroes of the Inquisition. Aw. Aw. Nice. I guess that means Harding's completely loyal now. All right, cool. Uh, Lucanus, do you want to talk? Yes, you do. Yes. Okay, we're gonna. Do <laughs> okay, Whew. calm down, April. We're gonna do Lucanus next. Uh, Lu Lucanus is next. Um, let me go ahead and make my rounds. Talk to everybody. Nobody's there. Kitchen up there. Bellara. Okay. You hungry? I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Troubles in Minrathus, huh? This particular trouble has a name. Alia. We could swap. The Gloom Howler for her. Throw in a son and you might have a deal. You'll never get a good night's rest again. That was fun. She felt it all over. Her attraction to the hero. A powerful but properly contained tingle. Nearly exquisite. Properly contained. No, sounds bad. Okay. Cut the middle line, much more natural. What are you working on? <laughs> Rook! A fan um, fiction? I get it. I didn't see you. <laughs> what did you hear? Not sure what it was, but it sounded pretty good. Oh, really? Well, thank you. Nev found me more cereals. I've read them, all of them, multiple times. And I thought maybe I could try it, writing my own, I mean. Not like Varric Tethris, but my own sort of thing. For me, and people like yeah. that. Something to focus on, besides Syrian and all of that. And you know, you're also interesting, it helps for inspiration. Interesting is certainly a word we could use. But it works! You're fighting ancient gods and everything. And you know the rest. It's impressive. What you've done, I mean, brought everyone together. You're a good person, really.
Being around good people helps. That's the thing about a team. Everyone brings everyone else up. That's what they taught me. The veil jumpers, I mean. A team's only as good as its weakest link. So you make them stronger. Like you do, with all of us. So, keep being that kind of person. One everyone can look up to. Anyways, thanks, Rook. I'll talk to you later. Gotta finish this scene. Okie dokie. Harding's favorite foods. Apple cheesy butter noodles? Ham and jam slam. Dang, Ty. this. Trust yourself and trust the team. Okay. Before we start this, I'm already gonna go ahead and get all suit up. Oh, nice. Child of the stone, how cute. Aw, that's so sweet. Farting. That's so cute.
I got one point, huh? I have no idea what to freaking put it in, though. No missives. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this talk. Alright, we're gonna do new save. Edit. I don't know if it's full if it's his full thing. It sounds like it, but Luca Countess's Loyalty. Is that Zara Renata? This place isn't big enough to keep every corpse you guys find. Zara spoke to Ilario before she died. Emmerich can talk to the dead. I have to know. Huh? <coughs> I wouldn't have offered my skills if I thought it was unsafe. Let flame rekindle your sight. Let breath and light rise again. Tell us about Ilario della Morte. Martyrs. He fooled us both. Elaborate. He took what he wanted most in this world. More than coin. Flesh. Family. The title of First Talon. Damn. Ilario had you imprisoned and tortured for a promotion. Well, the job was to kill you. But this one doesn't waste those with potential. Yeah. That's not any better. And Katerina? Did Ilario hire you to kill her? No. Ilario used blood magic to control spite. How? He's not a mage. Our oh, and God gives many God gifts. damn it, Ilario. Elganon? Ilario's working with Elganon. Her spirit strong. Haste would be appreciated. Let her go. We've heard enough. I'm sorry, Lucanus. So am I. What are you going to do? Aww. Take away everything from him. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> an angry man. Okay, I don't have his quest yet. Lucanus, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Coffee break? Can I upgrade you yet? Abundance. Abundance! Nope, not yet, but close. Pally, it's okay. It's okay. Both dragons gone. The gods have landed strike after strike. For once, we've struck back. Treviso has its vengeance. But I fear Nev won't have hers while the Venatori hold Minrathos.
All right, so now. Hi, Autumn. That's a pr that's such a pretty toy. Now, well, since I don't have his yet, it's not quite his loyalty yet. Um, okay, that's that. That's that. that oh that's in Arlathan I kind of don't want to do that quite yet now that I think about it um, let's go ahead and do Nevs I don't know if it's possible for them to get unhardened but let's let's go ahead and do Nevs Do Nev and we'll bring who do I want to bring? Who's who's low? You're seven eight. Seven. Okay, Tash is still six. Hi, Autumn. You're very pretty. You are so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um. I'll bring Bella. It's fine. Town, who's our next rising star? Father gives me. There's dangerous fanatics, then there's Alia. She's loose in Darktown, and we're in the dark. What's the plan? The threads in Alia's Venatory are at war. That might slow Alia down, but until I know her plans, I need to hear whatever information the threads pick up. What about Rana? Can she help? I told Rana that Alia's back. She needs the warning. As for help, Rana wants to be an example. Not sure where that goes anymore. You're worried about her. I'm worried about everyone. <sighs> Tired enough to admit it. Doctown's protected. 
What can the threads do for you? Alias a pain for both of us. Let's talk. We know people in this town. Neighbors. When they don't turn up on the rounds, we notice. Alia used the threads for dirty work. Stolen relics, muscle, spies. These people, they disappear. And you don't know where to. Alia's good at covering her tracks. That's why you're here. I've got names of missing people, including those hardly anyone noticed yet. All yours, no catch. We're local, we know that's a lie. Just give me a catch I can live with. Have I mentioned I like you? Bring this one around more often, Nev. This is war. We find Aelia, we kill her. Give the cult something to think about. You find her, you do the same. Docktown's ours. To Docktown. From the people who breathe it, bleed for it, no one's got its back like we do. To a better Docktown. And doing the best we can till then. <laughs> you go far. To home. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to go back and talk to her? Okay, well, I guess I could do that. Hang on, let's let let's try to knock some more birds out with one stone. So we're here. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's get shocked since I know who it is. <laughs> this is why you read the books. This is why you read the books. Alright, so I guess we'll do this next. Okay. Change the party. Um... Davrin. Bring Emmerich. Thanks for tagging along, Rook. Those feelers I put out about the Gloom Howler turned up something. Evka, I got your message. I figured you'd want to hear this. This is Davrin and Rook. You can trust them. What's your name? I, uh... Velia. That name sounds very familiar. It's okay. We're here to help. Nothing to be afraid of. My name's Valia. When I heard about Wise Helped, what happened? I once trained to be a Grey Warden, but I left before the joining. Was she the one who found it's the It's not X? for everyone. It wasn't that. It's... Yeah! I'm the one who found the Griffin Eggs before they hatched. 
I've got about a million questions. But why come to us now? I knew some of the Wardens who were caring for the Griffins, Remy and Lancet. I think I know what killed them. The Gloom Howler. It's a Grey Warden, isn't it? An elf. But that's all we know. Yes. Her name is... was... Isaya. Isaya. I found her diary. She was a mage. She blighted all the Griffins during the Fourth Blight. What? Upon direct orders from the First Warden at the time. She had no choice. This was centuries ago. Why would they do that? In her diary, Isaya said the Blight was going badly. The Wardens couldn't win. They turned to blood magic. The Griffins fought harder, longer. I see where this is going. Isaiah didn't want to do it, but orders were orders. It won the war. But then? The Griffins became rabid. They turned against the Wardens. So then the first Warden turned against them. He ordered them all destroyed. That's why they're extinct. First Wardens are assholes, for real. I can understand why this Isaiah is so pissed. She felt betrayed by the Wardens, forcing her to do it. As penance, she hid the remaining eggs with a protective spell. I followed the clues and found them. That was 400 years ago. She shouldn't even be alive. Her last entry said she'd left for her calling. Then she's probably in the deep roads. Blighted. Twisted. Hassan? I was there the day you hatched. You've grown. He's a flirt. Careful. He's a shameless flirt. That's because he's such a pretty boy, isn't he? I remember feeding him ginger wart truffles as a baby. Ah, oh, so you're the reason Davron's been hunting mushrooms instead of monsters. Anything but a prince. I don't see a crown on your head yet, boy. There should be. Griffins give the Wardens hope. <laughs> Something to rally it's around, okay. Dr. Weiss hoped. Please find his brothers and sisters, whatever it takes. We owe them so much. Count on it. Stay safe, Hassan. This is good information, but it okay. still doesn't tell us where the Gloom Howler is. No, but the other Wardens will keep looking. The Gloom Howler, Saya, can't hide forever. Me too. I'm sure by this point, though, they're probably already bladed, if I had to guess. Hey, Emmerich. How's Manfred? Oh, quite well. I'll tell him you send your regards. Got something in mind? No. You all set? Evka, Antoine, you needed help with something? Is this about your studies? Look at the blight here. The world dies like this if we do nothing. We need a deeper understanding of how it behaves. I have theories, but... Something's wrong. We've been keeping Darkspawn away from Lavendel, but those have been packs. What's heading for us now is a small horde. We push it back, or the locals wind up dead. I won't let these people get crushed. If Lavendel needs help, they've got a shadow dragon on their side. What is it you say to each other? Bring the light? We could use some. Where do things stand now? Every warden will put themselves between Lavendel and the Blight. But we'll be spread thin around the village. There's only so many of us. We need to make that work. 
Your plan to get us through is a good one. Okay. I gave advice and people listened. You credit yourself too little. I have a feeling he's right. Fine. I'm great. The plan's great. Let's hope we don't die. You are, it is, and agreed. So what now? What can I do? There are sentries equipped with horns stationed around the village. Those horns are sounded when an attack begins and again if backup's needed. That lets us focus our numbers. I need you to check with the sentries. Make sure they're ready. I'm on it. We can do this. All right. Take that can-do spirit to the rest. Check back with us when you're done with the sentries. We can hold off the smaller packs for a while, but there's no going back once the horde hits. Okay. Come on. Let's check on the warden sentries. Hey, Evka sent me. How are things here? Evka's plan is sound. We'll stand together and see it through. We won't fail. Tell Evka we're ready. Okay. Hey, Evka wanted me to check in. Are you ready? I am. The Darkspawn won't win this one. Not on our watch. We took those dragons, we'll take this too. Well, look who it is. Name's Warden Augustine. Evka sent me. How are things here? The Darkspawn aren't on us, but they will be. I can feel it. And you go where the fight is, don't you? Tell Evka I'm ready. We'll hold Lavendo. We should get back to Evka. Epka, the sentries are ready. Good. Are you? That's a horn. The darkspawn are here. That sounds coming from the glade. Let's move. Let's go. We can't Let's let go. them break through to the village. Lavendel is the only haven left in this part of the Amazons. Oh. 
We must hold our ground. There's more fight left out there. All right. Be ready for the next call. We could check on the caves, see how the fight is there, or head to the farmlands. Well, caves are closer. Reach the gate. Come on. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I can only run so fast. This is it. They can't break through. I'm having my back. You took more than your share. Oh. Something evil. A strange calling in the blight. Something to look into. Yes. Uh. But that's what we do. And today? We won the day. He's right. Take that with you. When the next thing comes, we'll handle that too. I think Antoine's going through his calling. It's in here, too. You're sure? It's faint, but yes. Is something wrong? Yeah, but first, you deserve some thanks. Lavendel is safe. They still need our protection, of course. But we won this fight together. Thanks to Evka's plan. If we're giving Evka credit, then I won't argue. Fine. Credit taken. Now, as much as I hate changing the subject... Right. Antoine, you sensed something strange. What was it? The Blight song wasn't just strange. At first I heard the gods, but now... There's something else, and it's here, in the wetlands. It pulses, weird, pulling somewhere dark. It sounds... I don't know. Pleased? What does that mean? We don't know yet.
Likely nothing good. I wish I could understand it. Stop listening to the plate, for real. Antoine, are you okay? What? Yes, of course. I'm fine. We need more time to study what the new song means and where it leads. And you can't listen to it all the time. We don't know what it is. Evka, I... <sighs> but yes, we have many different tests to run. Remember to visit Hook. We'll have results eventually. Until then, stay safe. Antoine, what's on your mind? It's like there's a pattern in the blight, and no pattern at all. But always something pooling. Okay. Now. Can't do those yet. That's going to Arlathan. I guess we could do this with Emmerich. Go ahead, change out my party real quick. Okay, let's run some more. Pr oh, yeah, she's got a little loyal thing now. How cute. The other thing I love about this game is the infinite run. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. There was a possessed dragon. <laughs> Why are you saying there's a chest somewhere? I already got it. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, oh. Did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. 
But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. <laughs> Let him do what he wants. That must have been frustrating. He knows he's not supposed to play in the horticulture. <laughs> oh, Manfred. Whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? No. Lich. That's old Tavine for corpse, isn't it? A lich is a mage transformed into one of the undead while retaining their true, original consciousness. The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years, I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis. Necromancers before me who'd transform themselves into true living dead. That's terrifying. Well, not everyone gets to meet their idols. Oh, but I was nervous. The liches are the great protectors of the necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, they granted me my desire, the right to attempt lichdom. If that's what you want. I'd anticipated more surprise. Ah, not really. Emmerich, you live in a haunted necropolis. Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers, as well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are considerations. Come, we have flowers to gather for the dead. Okay, but I've got questions. Blue creep vine. This will do nicely. Emmerich, aren't most undead just random spirits inside corpses? Liches are different. It wouldn't be a spirit acting in my name. My true consciousness would be housed in my departed flesh. How? The order must keep some secrets. Blood magic. <laughs> That's how. Famed in verse and song. Mm, smells like perfume. Do liches have a sense of smell? I've been told that while some of my senses will dull, others will become available. Other than that, I can't say if the flowers would still hold their bloom for me. Lichdom serves a purpose. There are dark things in creation, threats to both our world and the Fade. The liches of the necropolis have the insight and the abilities to oppose them. And you're joining them when? Certain elements have held me back. There's no ready instructions for lichdom. The steps must be discovered on one's own over years to be fully understood. Does the spell to become a lich kill you, or do you have to...? No, mercifully, that falls to another Watcher. After my death, my soul will be drawn back into my body instead of moving on to whatever lies beyond. Interesting.
So, what's holding you back from Lichdom? Even with all my preparations, there's a chance I could die, permanently, during the rites. What cowardice! The promise of immortality, an end to all my fears, and the final veil stays my hand. That's reasonable. Lots of people are afraid of dying. Is it? When it keeps me from what I most desire? Traditionally, candidates for lichdom face one final sifting of the soul. If they avoid it, you saw my old colleague. Hezenkos. She's a lich. A half-lich, though that hasn't diminished her powers. Until I stop her plans, I won't possess the peace of mind for lichdom. Why don't you select the next flowers, Rook? Sure. Uh, so what's a half-lich, exactly? Johanna attempted the rites of lichdom and failed. Stuck in her in-between state, she is supremely dangerous, but can't learn any new magic. No wonder Hezenkos was shouting so much. No. Oh. She's always been that way. What about the sifting of a soul that Hezenkos avoided? The spirits of the necropolis judge whether a candidate is worthy of the power and responsibility of lichdom. How'd she become a lich without it? I shared some knowledge when we were colleagues. She apparently put together more than I knew. It would be just like her to skip the rituals, the cleansings, the preparations of the soul. For a Watcher, Hezenkos is pretty harsh on spirits. We made allowances because of her discoveries. <coughs> Too many. It's okay. Spirits are not things to be disposed of. <coughs> you really care about them. They're so susceptible to the world's whims, Rook. Some spirits are dangerous, but how quickly most respond to a bit of kindness, or care, or simple attempt to understand. For all she's done, I can't condemn Johanna for attempting lichdom. That freedom from mortality, that divorce from fear, and of course, Time to read all of one's books. Aww. Every mage's dream. But how she's abused her abilities. Are my intentions enough to fare better? Worrying's a good sign. We have enough flowers. There's something I'd like to show you. Okay. Here we are. Oh, so these flowers are for... Yes. If you could place them on the graves, please. In memory of Rupert and Eleonora Volcarin, they walk eternity hand in hand. Aww. After I became a watcher, I erected a proper shrine to my parents. When I come to talk, I like to think they listen. Well, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Rook, it's a pleasure. Do you remember your parents? Some memories are bright. Others are akin to those dim early morning dreams one gets sometimes. Lately, I wondered what they'd think of our current course, the choices ahead. Your lichdom. What would they have wanted me to be? I can tell you what I think they'd want you to be. What's that? Happy. You could always speak with your folks, couldn't you? My parents last saw me as a boy. 
By the time I mastered my corpse whispering, I was a man. If I woke them, there might be a flash of recognition, or... Besides, if I speak to too many other spirits, Manfred might grow jealous. Can't have that. Can't have that. <laughs> Jinx. He'd be impossible. I agree. I mean, I guess we could do Tosh. I just have to make sure I don't do this. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Um, no quests there. No quests there. None there. <laughs> Shappy, it's okay. Um, Grey Wardens are actually pretty close. I wonder if I should get the Grey Wardens up. I kind of want to get the Crows up first. Alright, I guess I'll go ahead and do this. Oh, hello cat. No kitty, no lap. Go over there. Okay. Let's see. I guess I'll do this. Yeah. Let me change my team up. Uh, where's the thing? And then we'll go here and hope it doesn't start anything I don't want to do. Okay, that's story. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So we're not going to do that. We're instead going to do this. All right. The dragon's a fang scorcher that attacked villages. We're close to her lair. This shouldn't be too bad, right? We fought two dragons at once in Hosburg. The dragons we fought in Hosburg were being ordered around by the gods. They were attack dogs. This is a wolf, a big wolf, fighting in her own territory. Be ready. This is your first real dragon fight. I don't know about that. You said she attacked villages. Are we dealing with another attack in a city like Treviso or Minrathus? No. Something got her to start hunting a ways off. Something like what? Dunno. Hoping we find out while we're here. But right now, focus on taking her down before she kills anyone else. Including us. You said the dragon's a fang scorcher? What are they like? Fire breather. Related to the Ferelden Frostback. 
Think of her like the dragon version of a bobcat or a fox. It's a little larger than a bobcat. I mean, she's small and sneaky for a dragon. Attacks with fire from a distance to soften up her targets. And she's mean. Scorchers hold a grudge longer than my mother. This is your dance. Show us the steps. Stay in the trees as long as you can. It's gonna get hot when she sees us. Hey, Alara. You gonna be okay with this dragon? Oh, definitely. It's interesting seeing how the magic is more stable in this part of Arlathan. Does the dragon somehow stabilize the ambient magical energy, or did it pick the location because of less ambient magic? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out after we kill her. Something's off with that crap up ahead. Let's go up through there on the left instead. What's wrong? I don't know. The way that debris is placed it doesn't look natural. Or like something a dragon would do. If you say so, you're the dragon expert. Careful. She can hear metal clanking from a half mile away. You heard Tosh. Light steps. You know how to take orders. We're here to kill a dragon. I'm inclined to listen to the expert. Hmm. Where's the chest?
I know I'm not exactly being quiet. Hunting call. Spooks prey so they bolt out into the open. I can see how that'd work. seen many on Tom and Arlethan before. Wonder what they're doing here. No idea. But they were set in an ambush. Guess they didn't know about your keen sense of smell. Come on. We can circle around. Hit them where they're not expecting us. I come for the Fang Scorcher? I only came because she attacked villages. Maybe they baited it into attacking the villages somehow to lure you out here. For the Dragon King, whoever that is. <laughs> Stupid name. Let's look around. I need to know what's going on. Okie dokie.
bastards. They're the ones who've been capturing dragons and blighting them, turning them over to Gilanane in exchange for power. Hisra Marlock Boshvatari Brock! We knew the Antom were involved. Now we know it's the Dragon King. That's who we find and kill. Sounds good. We can get to the Fang Scorcher's lair up through there. Whenever you're ready. She knows we're here. That means quick beats quiet. Stay clear of the fire. It's like oil. It's on you and keeps burning. the last time.
Shocker to Ebra. Shocker to Ebra. Today, you're Dragon Slayers. Now let's see what she had in her lair. Probably that big building over there. Poor dragon. Why do I hear wolves? How are we much to bet the on Tom took it off? Let me know when you're ready to get out of here. That looks like fun. Ooh, hang on. I think I got everything. Nope. Okay, now I got everything. Just tell me when you're ready. Let's head out now. Trophy from the Fang Scorcher. She was a good fight. Thanks for listening to me during the hunt. Not everyone does. You know what you're doing. I trust you. Well, you're also taking advice from the elven god of lies. See? Honesty. <laughs> this is why I trust you. <laughs> when you were standing over the dragon, you said something. Chakra to Ebra. It's the same thing your mother told you. You struggle the way you are. You must struggle with what you are. It's what she told me when I was a kid. Still does. So I don't let the dragon out. Meaning your fire breath. It's not just about the fire. It's about how stuff makes me feel. What I do when I'm angry. I 
I've seen you get angry. When we first met, I saw you wreck those on Tom who were after the Vincima. Assholes. But you've got it under control. Barely. I get... I can get... this... rage. Where I just have to break something, and I can get stuck in arguments, needing things to be a certain way. The Antom would have turned me into a berserker, breathing fire across the battlefield, killing anything in my way. I don't want to be that. The things you're describing... Sometimes I feel the same way. You do? But you mostly act... normal. Yeah, I practiced. And sometimes I still feel like I'm just... I don't know... imitating what a normal person would say. <laughs> yeah, I get that. So you're not in this alone. And you don't have to be afraid of your fire. You are Ravani. You have the freedom to let yourself feel things instead of locking them down. I mean, we just killed a dragon thanks to you. How hard can anything else be after that? Yeah, I guess you're right. I think I'm ready to talk to my mother about who I really am. Yeah? Yeah. I just killed a dragon. How hard can talking to my mother be after that? I might invite her to the lighthouse. Maybe that way she doesn't spend the whole time talking about that old tablet. I'm still a little concerned about whoever sent me on, Tom. They mentioned the Dragon King. Yeah, the asshole who's capturing dragons and blighting them for Gilanane. I'll ask Isabella to look for him. Still a stupid name. Dragon King. Dragons wouldn't have kings. They'd have queens. <laughs> True. The trap had failed. The Fang Scorcher was dead. But the Dragon King was a patient hunter. All he needed was a little help from a traitor in the Lords of Fortune to set a new trap. And the bait was sure to bring Tosh running. Oh, wonderful. Is Mommy Dearest going to get captured? <laughs> Love that for us. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go back to the lighthouse. Um, let me see here. Uh, about 2,600. Oh, there are over 2,600. They're three star. They're low. Uh, they're pretty close. I don't know if I want to get them the three star. I kind of want to do crows. Let me, um, I think I got quite a bit of junk to sell. Let me, let me go over here first. Let me go do crows. Stock up with whatever you need. Oh yeah, I got quite a bit. Okay. Sell all 213. How much do I need? 
Oh, it might not be enough. All right, hang on. Let's see. Good luck with. Hang on. Contracts. Let's do business. Ah, dang, so close. All right. Well, they're close. They're very close. See you again. All right, let's go to the lighthouse. Aw, thanks, guys. Less stagger. Damage versus health, healing. Oh, I kind of like that more, though. Dang. Another one? So I think it's like Ravanian and proud. Aw, it's cute. Yee! Okay. <laughs> okay, now I know this is probably going after maybe the gloom hour and this is probably going after Aaliyah, but we're going to do this first. And I think I have just enough time to do it before I have to end, at least for today. Um, maybe I'll be back tonight. A quest here, okay. Emmerich, if you liked someone, what would you do to show them you like them? I mean, perhaps a stroll through the memorial gardens of the necropolis. Lovely flowers. Don't, you know, spirits hang around there? Oh, a few, certainly. Yeah, Tosh wouldn't like that. forget to take breaks, okay? Okay.
Menfred's up there. Dang it. That spell Elgernon cast to save Gillanane, he didn't tap into the Fade. He tore a hole in the veil and let the Fade through. I could study magic for a thousand years and still not manage that. The Inquisitor could do it. Alright. Supper in Docktown? You actually taking a break? I've got leads to chase on Alia and Docktown's missing people. A few sources will only talk if I'm alone. But if you're around after, you help me uncover all this. Supper's on me. Sure. Count me in. Okay. Hey, Rook. I was planning to take us on to the woods in Arlathan soon. Want to keep us company? Sounds good to me. The son will be glad to hear it. Needs to stretch his wings. This is where we eat. I see. Shathan, it's good to see you again. My child wished to show me where she now lived. I made food. Here. Armada special. It's what the pirates eat when they come to port. This is too rich for me. Perhaps you could prepare some vegetables. Fine. Looks good to me. A few weeks in your company, and my child has lost what little civility she had. We actually eat dishes from all over. Lucanus has introduced us to demon hair pasta, <laughs> and Ballara made holly cakes. So my child respects every culture except her own. This is what I face for removing her from the Kuhn. Uh, Tosh is making a life here with us and wanted to share that with you. So, I can see how happy my child is to have abandoned the ways of our people? You're the one who brought Tosh to Ravane. And to my team, for that matter. If that's not what you wanted... I have failed. Yes. I was never taught how to be a mother. 
Under the Kune, children are raised by those suited to such pursuits. I trained as a scholar. I was taught to think critically, to analyze without passion, and correct mistakes. You need not tell me that I am an inadequate mother. I am aware. Then why did you leave? When I see my child in danger, I act. Here, vegetables. Thank you. So, I'm non-binary. Rip off the band-aid. What does that mean? It means I don't feel like a man or a woman. If you are neither a man nor a woman, then what are you? Non-binary. I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. If this is because I have criticized your dress or your manners... It isn't! Under the Cune, the term for one whose gender does not match the one given to them at birth was a Cunaglock. Perhaps you are like that. Why do you have to keep picking at it? Why can't you just be happy for me? Evitosh, Chakra Toebra. So I'm supposed to struggle with who I am? Even if I don't feel like I fit? Even if I feel wrong? No, you misunderstood. Then say it better! Why am I never enough for you? I will go. Thank you for inviting me to your home, Panahedan. Tosh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Tosh. I'm not hiding anymore. How she takes it is her problem. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Don't let food go to waste. Aw. Okay, now let's... What did I click on? Gotta overwrite. Edit. here. Is something wrong? Biago and Thea sent word. They have information about Ilario. Whatever it is, they wish to speak away from Treviso, away from anyone who might be listening. They won't put more to paper. I need to meet with them as soon as possible. Okay, you got it. We will go there right now. You got it, babe. Let me just see if Tosh wants to say anything and then uh, we'll go. Two dragons at once. That'll give me free drinks with the lords. Now we find whoever's getting dragons for the gods to blight and hit them with an axe. Aw. Alright. To Cholavisto we go. Let us go. Wait, where are we going? Wait, where are we going? Oh, we're going to Dogtown? Okay. No. 
down there. You found something? About Ilario? Possibly. What do you mean, possibly? You have something or you don't? It's Caterino. <laughs> we don't know it's for high. certain. Tell me. Okay. I've got my eyes on Villa della Morte. One of them brought back one of Caterina's rings. It had been thrown out with the trash. Ilario would never do that. He'd at least pawn it somewhere. You think Katerina threw the ring away as a message that she's inside the house? Her opal ring. Lucanis, you know what that means. She gave that ring to my mother. It was the mark of her favor. House Velardo killed my parents and sent it back to Katerina to demand she surrendered the seat of First Town. She's alive. Hilario, you idiot. We need more eyes in the villa to say for certain. Ilaria would tear the city apart searching if he'd lost this. How could she be alive? What is he thinking? How am I supposed to deal with this? We need to plan a rescue. The sooner we get Katerina out of there, the better. It could be a trap. We have to deal with Ilario first. He could still kill her if we move against him. Maker knows what's in his head. V, you're too pessimistic for your own good. Reason with him, Lucanis. I thought I had a clear shot at my target. Okay. What if I go after him and get Katarina killed? Help us. How? What do you need? He listen. He always listens to you. Come. Oh, hello? What did you do? Is this the Fade? It seems... different. It isn't like those fragments of Solus's past in the crossroads either. Lucanus is here. Always. Behind locked doors. I can't break through. All right. Let's go get him. Couldn't you Couldn't simply, you simply die, die already? already? This experiment has gone on for far too long. I know this place. It's the ossuary. The prison we freed Lucanus from. Freed? No! We've always been here. Right. It's not the real ossuary, but it doesn't seem like a memory either. Lucanus is in here somewhere, right? He's... What? Where they kept his blood? Yes. Go there! But the logs everywhere. I can't touch them. How do I get past the locks? Turn myself into a mouse? Fight a bunch of giant spiders? By getting past the guards. It's a prison! Right. What was I thinking? I like that little callback to Origins. Nobody's here. Of course not. Rook can't be here. Me? Why not? You open doors. 
You don't close them. If I were in charge, you wouldn't have to do this anymore. Magister Zara was far more benevolent than you deserved, Crow. That's not weird at all. Oh, makes me so sad. Why does family have a tree family? Rock, did you forget our deal? You were to bring my grandson back to me. I did? You brought me an abomination. Where is my grandson? Tenderness and terror. Rage and relief. Old stale fear of disappointment. This is the fate, so this Katarina is... Uh, a spirit? Something like that? No, Lucanus is mine! They won't dare. Thoughts live here. Ideas, feelings. She's his idea of Katarina, then. Katarina, Lucanus is trapped. But I think you're part of his way out. Lucanus thinks he disappointed you. With that chaining him, he can never be free. Is that what you want? To release a demon? Lucanus is the one who's trapped. By the idea, he failed you. But you know he's not to blame. My poor boy. Promoted from flying vermin to malicious spirit. Whatever will you become next, I wonder. When the demon emerges, let me have his entrails, my lady. Are we in the lighthouse? Don't worry, Rook. I've got my eye on the prisoner. <laughs> You've conjured up a friendly face, Lucanus. But your real friends and allies need you in the real world. Rook, are you sure Spite isn't tricking you? What if there's no Lucanus? Just the demon. After a year in the ossuary, you might believe that. But you're no demon. Look around. This isn't the mind of a human being, let alone an Antivan crow. You're the man you were, Lucanus, even buried in this pain. No demon would punish itself like this. You really shouldn't trust anything you find in the Fade. I trust you, Lucanus, and I trust myself to get you home. Let me. You know that's the kind of attitude that's gonna get you killed, right? I'll risk it. I have a master assassin on my side, don't I? Just be careful. That's 
so sweet. Gassian stuff. You can dwell on this. It'll drive you back. I bet if you didn't try to romance, you know, Lucanus, this would all be for Nev, I imagine. Hey, Rook. Should you be here? Can't say it's the safest place in the world. Strangeness and charm. Something familiar and foreign at the same time. With a little guilt. Somehow I thought Lucanus would think of Nev as being more... to winter? To winter. People come in three kinds. Family. Enemies. Contracts. I hope that's just spite talking. Nev, you need to let us pass. You know how he is, Rook. Even if you open the door, Lucanus won't walk through it. This is where he wants to be. Lucanus always has a choice. If he can't see that, I'm here to show him. You really think you can help him? You're such a sap, Rook. I think it's time you stood aside and let me try. What are you hiding, little demon? You're too good to be wasting your time in a place like this. Forget about my cousin. You've got much more important things to worry about, don't you? You've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Sharp, jagged edges. Hurt with every breath. Grief and relief. Hope and anger mix. Lucanus, you don't owe Ilario a second thought. Much less a supporting role. He put us here. You've got to leave this be, Rook. You turn my cousin loose, it's only going to cause more grief. I think Ilario will be feeling that grief. Right, Lucanus? You know that Katarina had five children? Eight grandchildren. All dead now, except for Lucanus and me. Last time the Groves fought a war of succession, House de la Morte lost everything. Except the seat of First Talon. This time, we fight ourselves. What will be left then? You think you'll survive? Your friends? Your cause? This scum doesn't get to speak for you, Lucanus. Everything that's happened is his fault. Is it? Aren't you sure of that? Do you really think he made a deal with a demon? He's not even a mage. Or do you think maybe he just found the one there already? He'll carry this prison with him forever. 
and he'll fill it with corpses given time. We need out. You're an Antivan Quo, Lucanus. A professional. Trained to avoid collateral damage and go after the real enemy. You have no idea what the consequences will be. Whatever they are, Lucanus, I'll be there to help you. I can't believe it. You're home. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here, Rook? I had to find you. If anything happened to you, I can't even think about it. You should go. It's better I stay here than risk losing you. You see? He breaks our agreement. His mind is still here. He wants to stay here, so he keeps me here. Mierda! Why would I want to stay? Even in my head, this place is a nightmare. Right, but it's a nightmare you already defeated. I get it now. As bad as the ossuary was for you, it was better than the alternative. What alternative? The ossuary, Zara. You could solve those problems with a blade, but healing again? Living as an abomination? There's no simple answer there. And if you fail, you could hurt the ones you love. No, I... This is not... Damn it, Rook! Make him leave! It's okay, Sheppy. He's trying to leave, Spite. It's... complicated. Mortals can't just change ourselves. It takes a lot of time. Rook. You're right. There has to be a way through this. It's just so much. I cannot see how to begin. Start small, you and Spite. Figure out a goal you can both agree on, then make it happen. A contract? Contracts are for clients. Call this an alliance. But on what terms? Good, good question. I mean, if we save Catalina, that'll, that'll punish Ilario. If we punish Ilario, that could kill Catalina. Um. Didn't you just learn your grandmother was alive? What are you waiting for? Go rescue her. That's true. Fighting crows? And anyone else that gets in our way. Do we have a deal? We free Katarina together. Together, we will fight! Yay! Harmony. <laughs> Gotta love it. Rook, are you alright? What's the matter with the two of you? It's okay. We needed a moment, but I'd say we're ready for anything. How long were we standing here? Just long enough for it to get awkward. <laughs> you're sure you're all right? We're fine, Thea. Don't waste your worry on us. Can I trust the two of you to keep an eye on Hilario? If he starts anything, I want to know about it. I was going to do that anyway. You're planning something. I'm getting Katarina back. But Viago is right. We need more information before we move. Ilario panicked when I came back alive. If he panics again, he could actually kill her this time. We'll only get one chance at this. Yay! 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 Family! Yay.
Oh, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going back to the lighthouse. <laughs> I want to talk to him. Okay, good. Alright, he better want to talk. Hold on. Uh, Sunder duration. Effectiveness. And... talk to him we'll talk to him and then we'll probably end it there for now and I'll try to be back later on tonight um, okay they're up there Tosh okay Hey, Daffrin. If you need to talk, what? you know, it's okay, about Shepard. We're almost done. I'm a good listener. Thanks, but not sure you can help. It's a warden thing. Well, it's also a your history was a lie thing, and you know, we're Dalish. Those are our gods out there. I feel like we're qualified. Right. That's a good point. I wish I could get moving. I hate being stuck in here. You talk to Hardin? Somewhere she makes sure she's okay after all that lyrium stuff. I don't get all of it, but I know she's hurting. You can talk to her. They're up there, Manfred's up there, Harding's there. Okay. Dang it. Hezenkos, I've seen the type. Dangerous and damn slippery about it. You're right. She held such promise. I only wish uh, that wishing for the alternative, you'd find that naive. Can't say it changes things. Can't change that you were friends once, either. And for that, I'm sorry. I thank you, Nev. This place even smells wrong. Okay. Uh edit.
Oh, great. Is it your turn to cook? What's all this gonna be? Paella. Well, two of them. One without seafood for Emmerich. Aww. And a hazelnut tort for dessert. It pairs well with coffee. Aww. Wait. Did you make dessert just for me? There's enough for everyone. As long as they don't mind having it with my favorite drink. They won't complain. Ah, Commit to exclusive. Okay. All right. Here we go. You didn't have to do anything special for me. Yes, I did. I still don't know how to apologize for everything. And you... Uh, you made dessert just for me. It's nothing or not enough. It is. And you are. And I'll have you know I'm very easily bribed. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, for real, Lucanus. Food? Best way to a woman's heart. Ooh. Oh, wow, you have a lot of logbooks. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, start at the beginning. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Well, I thought that does it say anything different now. Oh, personal demon. That's so sweet. Oh, what a little sweetheart. Oh, hi, Munchkin. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. Alright, let's see here. So I am gonna end it there. I'll try to get back on this tonight, but... We'll do... We'll do Nev first. And then we have that to do with Tosh. We'll do Nev first. All right, so I am going to go ahead and end it there. Let me make a little savey save. Uh, let me save out here. All right, little savey save. And we'll just do new save. All right, thank you everybody so much for watching, for all the love and support. I very much do appreciate it. I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. And I hope to see you all in the next stream. Yeah, bye-bye.